best cannabis stocks to buy for 2021. Okay, so in this video, guys, we're going to talk about my favorite cannabis stocks to buy for 2021. So there's some pretty big news that came out. It looks like Tilray and Afria are thinking about merging. And I think that they're definitely doing this to compete with Canopy Grow. So let's head over to that uh information right here so as you can see here we're on seeking alpha and it says according to bloomberg canada tilray and afria are in advanced merger talks an announcement could come as soon as later this week so let's give you guys a quick details on what's going to be happening here it says the comp the merge companies expect to keep the tilray name but the alfria ceo erwin simon is going to uh stay on as ceo and afria will have a bigger uh stake in the company and i read some reports i believe it's around 60 percent so the tilray ceo he will kind of move to the side and just get a board seat and this merger is supposed to basically save around a hundred million dollars in operating costs and things like synergies and things like that over the next year but probably the most eye-opening thing is that tilray is thinking about moving its headquarters to the united states and that's definitely a bullish sign for i think just the u.s federalization federalization uh, laws in general since the house since recently uh, signed the more act it's basically going to the senate and if the senate uh, basically agrees on it and passes it then it could be signed into law by joe biden so we could see legalized cannabis in 2021 we don't know for sure there's a lot of um kind of multiple sources have said it's going to have a trouble getting passed in the senate but we all know that basically biden winning the uh the election was extremely bullish for cannabis stocks uh joe biden seems to be much more supportive of cannabis legalization and decriminalization than donald trump will ever B. So now what I want to do is I want to talk about my favorite cannabis stocks by next year. And to do this, guys, we're going to simply break them down uh, kind of on an apples to apples comparison. So what I did here, I went to Google Sheets and I made a little comparison chart. So we're looking at Canopy Growth, Tilray, Green Thumb, um, Aurora Cannabis, and Afria. So as I did, guys, I made this chart. I basically broke it down by market cap, last quarterly revenue of Q3 2020, and the price to sales ratio. So uh, a lot of these companies really struggled in Q2 uh, with those lockdowns, but things have gotten better and it looks like a lot of the revenue has recovered and hopefully we'll see more recoveries in Q4. Although with these new lockdown measures, I think it's really going to have to wait until I would say about Q2 2021, where we're really going to see some of these companies really hit their stride again. So let's start off with Canopy Growth. That is the largest market cap out of all cannabis stocks that are public traded at $10 billion. Tilray and Afria, uh, Tilray is at 1.2 billion, Afria is at 2.3 billion. If they combine, that'll be very interesting to see. And I'm guessing that market cap will be just north over 3 billion. Green Thumb is one of the OTC stocks in the group. It's the only OTC stock in the group. So over the counter shares. So basically, guys, you know, a lot of OTC stocks, you can't trade on apps like Robinhood and things like that simply because these stocks don't have the same SEC uh, regulations that um, stocks trading on the NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange do. But, you know, it is the best performing one out of all five of these stocks. So I can understand you guys um, like trading OTC stocks. You know, guys like Tim Sykes, they're obsessed with OTC stocks. So I can understand. And then Aurora Cannabis. So Aurora Cannabis, one of my favorite ones. I think it's had the most headwinds so far this year, dealing with three different CEOs. Um, you know, the, the founder, Terry Booth, he stepped down as CEO and then they had an interim CEO. And then right now, Miguel Martin is running the company. So this company has really struggled um, and we've seen it, it kind of in their revenue, uh, just 67 million where they had a huge quarter just a few quarters ago. So this I think Aurora is probably the riskiest one, but has the most upside. And as we see at free, it's actually one of the only. Uh, profitable ones out of the bunch and they're really going to benefit from joining with Tilray. Afri actually tried to join to merge with Aurora Cannabis but I think they kind of tried to stay away because Aurora has been dealing with a lot of issues this year. So now looking at the last quarterly revenue. So for a lot of Canadian companies I think their fiscal year is different because I was doing research and whereas in America it's like Q3 2020 which would be the last quarter for a lot of these cannabis companies they were listed as like Q1 2021. So just be sure like if you're doing if you're searching for cannabis uh, companies and you type in like Q3 2020 you're going to get um, a few quarters back so just be sure you kind of adjust these numbers because it looks like Canada is on a different fiscal year and the fact that 60% of you guys live in the United States that are watching my channel I decided to just use uh, US standard quarterly numbers so Canopy Grove did 135 million dollars that was kind of coming out of that 
disastrous Q2 for cannabis stocks. Tilray did 51 million. Green Thumb did 157 million. Very well done by Green Thumb. Aurora uh, Cannabis did 67.8 million. And Afria did 69 million dollars so why are these numbers important well if you're kind of looking at the biggest dog in the race you want to take a look at green thumb but there's additional risk here simply that the stock is traded on the otc me my personal favorite even though at a price to sales ratio it looks overvalued i think canopy growth is the safest hedge they have awesome products um i'm very they, they acquired storm and beckel they acquired storm and beckel with the volcano vaporizer i had a volcano vaporizer when i was in college guys this is the best vaporizer product in the entire market so canopy has a lot of of good products and a very strong brand and also they have celebrity support from guys like drake uh, drake is has a partnership with canopy growth as well and drake is a very very famous rapper uh, he was born in toronto so he's very well known in the canadian um marketplace so like I said, guys, if we take a look at the price and sales ratio, we can see that canopy growth looks like the most expensive of the bunch. While according to this ratio, Tilray would look like a very discounted buy. Green Thumb looks kind of moderately um, valuation valued. It's like in the middle, but like I said, it's on the OTC, which carries additional risk. And Aurora Cannabis, I think, has the most um, upside out of all the bunch. It's the most beaten down of these stocks simply because they've had a lot of um, executive issues with the CEO turnover and a founder stepping down from the company. Uh, it's really not a good sign and the funny thing is is that their founder actually stepped down and joined the board of directors on another company so that's definitely going to shy investors away so now let's take a look at all of these stocks what they've done year to date and I'll give you guys some of my future price predictions and things like that so as we take a look here, first thing I like to do when I'm looking at any company is I want to see what it's done year to date. As you know, guys, the S&P 500 is usually the benchmark and the S&P 500 uh, this year is done around 17 percent. So let's take a look at how some of these stocks have compared to the S&P 500. So Green Thumb is the big winner of the bunch. It's up 136 uh, percent. Second is Afria, which is at 62 percent year to date. Um, and then we look at Canopy Growth, which is up 32 percent. And the two laggards in the group, we have... Um, Tilray and we have Aurora Cannabis. So Tilray and Aurora Cannabis have grossly underperformed the S&P 500 while the other three candidates, Afria, um, Green Thumb and Canopy Growth have outperformed the S&P 500. So which are the stocks that I like the most in the future? Well guys, I'm going to always stay with Canopy Growth. I think Canopy Growth has um it has great products and i'm very familiar with those products and when i try to buy stocks i try to get familiar with the products and things like that um i really haven't had any experience with products from green thumb or tilray anything like that so for me personally my favorite hedge is canopy growth it's a bit expensive based on the price to sales ratio but they just had record revenue growth in the latest quarter and it just looks like things are on the right track for them my second favorite pick i think if this tilray at free merger uh, comes through Tilray will be competing with with Canopy Growth for the largest uh, cannabis producer in Canada so I really like Tilray my third favorite pick is Green Thumbs guys Green Thumbs if you guys trade on apps like Robinhood I don't think you're able to trade with Green Thumbs so what I would recommend is if you're trying to buy OTC stocks go ahead and get yourself like a full service broker I use Fidelity um, you could try Vanguard as well you know obviously I like Robinhood a lot but I don't like putting all my eggs in one basket so I would say if you want to trade OTC stocks you can also try platforms like eTrader, TD Ameritrade um, it's Robinhood's a great app but there are limitations and some of these OTC stocks have been crushing it guys if you want more information on OTC stocks just check out Tim Sykes channel he talks about OTC stocks all the time so green thumb is an excellent choice if you you're looking for more risk um afri is already a good company already a profitable company uh they're going to be the afri shareholders are going to have 60 percent of this merger so i think you can buy tilray and hopefully that'll help tilray because tilray has a lot of promise and i think they have really excellent companies so tilray is actually the first comp cannabis company to be listed on the new york stock exchange but you know this this merger is going to do really well for them it's going to help them stay afloat and um afri has already got a great business model and they're only one of the few profitable cannabis companies out there so i really like uh, this merger and then I would say the riskiest one is Aurora Cannabis guys so I know Aurora Cannabis I've been talking about Aurora Cannabis lately on my channel and I think it has a lot of upside and I'm not really interested in their recreational market I think that Aurora Cannabis has been cannibalizing their margins trying to lower their prices to compete with um, other kind of you know non-licensed sellers uh, aka street sellers and things like that but I like the Reliva CBD oil brand that Aurora Cannabis owns. They own the number one CBD oil brand in the United States based on sales last year. 
and CBD oil is huge. Um, a lot of people have come out, a lot of professional athletes, probably the most notable professional athlete that supported CBD products is Rob Gronkowski. He's a tight end for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He won a bunch of Super Bowls with the New England Patriots uh, catching passes from Tom Brady. So CBD products are definitely in play. So I would think Aurora Cannabis is definitely a good play. Uh, you know, obviously expect some more headwinds in the future, but maybe next year in the springtime after the vaccines are administered, a lot of these stocks are going to perform a lot better. So those guys, those are my four favorite cannabis stocks to buy in 2021. Me personally, full disclosure, I have a position in cannabis growth. And if Tilray mergers, I probably look towards them as well. And I also like Aurora Cannabis, I think uh, an interesting play for Aurora Cannabis would be some long-term call options, assuming they get things right in that Reliva brand, those sales start picking up. Uh, we could see some really nice things if we have U.S. federal legalization. So that's it until next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button if you enjoy my content. You want to see more videos on cannabis stocks. And slash the red subscribe button, guys. I'm almost at 15,000 subscribers. I really like to see my see get to 15,000 subscribers before the end of the year. It will really help. And also, if you guys want to talk more about cannabis stocks and other kind of stocks that are going to grow a lot next year, guys, please sign up for my private Discord chat. I set up a chat room that we can discuss these companies um, in private and freely so we don't always have to just talk through YouTube. You guys can check out the link to sign that up and I do charge a, fee, uh, a monthly membership fee for that site because I want to keep um, the integrity of Discord and I don't want to, I want to keep the community a positive place that we can discuss stocks. And also if you guys haven't subscribed to my free daily stock watch newsletter, I post my favorite five to 10 stocks every Monday through Friday, um, sent straight to your email inbox before the market opens. You can grab that at, by clicking the link in the description below or going to investortrip.com newsletter. So that's it until next time guys. Take care.